What's up guys, Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV and today I'm here to show you 25 things, give or take, about the new 2020 Super Duty that you probably did not know. And so in today's video, we're not going to be necessarily going over every change from the 19 to 20 model, but hopefully in this video, you'll find a couple things that maybe you did not know about this particular year model on the new Super Duty. So without further ado, we got a lot to cover, so let's go ahead and jump right in. You probably already know that the new 2020 Super Duty comes with a 10-speed automatic transmission. It replaces the old six-speed transmission, but th that's not what I'm here to show you. I'm here to tell you that if you've got a BDS lift kit or a whole bunch of lift kits, that are out on the market the, on the 19 model doesn't necessarily mean it's going to automatically fit the 2020 and let me tell you why it's because of the transmission so on the bds six inch lift kit it actually comes with something that clocks the transfer case just slightly so that way you have proper driveline angles with the drive shaft and since it's now a new 10 speed transmission it's going to be a different length than the previous six speed that same kit is not going to work on this new 2020 so even though it looks like a lot of the suspension is the same not every lift kit is going to work on the new 2020 model if it worked on the 19 so just be very careful before you order your next lift kit the next thing you probably didn't know about the new 2020 super duty this one's not actually opted with it but you have the roof clearance lights those lights that come up on the cab those are now going to be white from the factory instead of those big orange globes that were on it on the previous model and so the the light itself is still amber but it looks really nice because it's got a clear light to it and speaking of a clear light you also happen to have all of the vehicles that have the you can even see that it's got a white or a clear led right here as well so it's really nice that they've kind of got a solid really bright white theme going on and by the way the the cab lighting also looks the exact same way so the led lighting on this thing is fantastic as you can see this particular truck is an fx4 model so it doesn't have the trimmer package but i want to talk about the trimmer package because that's the next thing you probably did not know and that is that the trimmer package actually reduces your pay, payload and your towing capacity as far as the towing capacity, depending on which one you pick, it can actually reduce your towing capacity by 5,000 pounds. And so if that extra 5,000 pounds is important to you, you may want to consider going with the FX4 package. So that way you have all of the utility that you may need in the next truck. The next thing I want to talk about is also revolving around the trimmer. And that is going to be the fact that you cannot order a trimmer package with an eight foot bed. So if you're one of those rare guys that needs both of those, you may just want to consider an FX4 in upgrading it. It from there and while we're on the topic of what you can't get on the trimmer the trimmer is available on the 250 and the 350 it is not available on the f450 the next thing you probably didn't know happens to be a 100 plus year record ford motor company has never offered this in their entirety of their existence and that is going to be a ford logo that is solid black so in the years past uh, ford motor company has always gone with this blue logo with the chrome emblem that is their logo and that's kind of their baby but new for the 2020 model if you go with the black accent package for the first time ever you can actually get where this blue is now black and then you've got the chrome is deleted off there as well it looks fantastic but it is the first time you can get that from the factory the next thing you probably didn't know are going to be these little pods right here so if you've seen the trend that a lot of the ford vehicles are going to the shark fin style and what that does is it houses things like your satellite radio maybe your gps and uh maybe the the wi-fi hotspot a couple different things right but on the super duty there was so much in involved in that one shark fin they couldn't actually sorry for that <laughs> there's so much stuff they were trying to cram into the one shark fin that they couldn't do it so they split it up into two of them right there on the back of the roof of the f-250 the next feature on the new 2020 super duty is going to be pretty instrumental i actually didn't notice this but i'm talking about the height of the truck so the height of this open tailgate to the floor and i hope it don't oh yeah to the floor and I hope oh yeah okay so, <laughs> but the height from this to the ground is actually almost one inch lower compared to the 2019 model Super Duty when you compare the actual numbers I'm gonna refer to my phone but you're looking on the 2019 model from here to the ground was 38.1 inches on this new 2020 model you're looking at 37.2 and that's where I got almost an entire inch lower 
to put, which makes it easy to put more of your cargo in and out, but it's also going to help you as far as if you need to tow something. There's a lot of different benefits, but it's just interesting to know that the new 2020 is actually lower than the 19 model. We've already talked a little bit about the 10-speed automatic transmission, but what happens if you just hate it and you decide, I'm not buying a new Super Duty with a 10-speed automatic transmission? There is still a way that you can get the 6-speed automatic transmission, but it only comes with the 6.2 gas-burning V8. So the 6.2 gas-burning V8 is a carryover motor from the 19 model into the 2020, and it's designed to be the entry-level engine. Uh, so, But if you order that particular engine, automatically you get that six-speed automatic transmission and yes there is still no option for a manual transmission in the super duty at all and hasn't been in probably a decade the next thing that you did not know about the new 2020 super duty are going to be the tow hooks so as you can see these tow hooks actually stick out further than the bumpers themselves there's a couple benefits for that the first benefit is if you have a very low mile per hour uh, bumper to bumper fender bender uh, this is probably going to protect you a little bit more than the actual bumper so very very cool there but the other thing about it is if you happen to say you need to reach something at the top of your mud it's real simple you can actually get your foot up there and use the tow hook as a way to actually get up into the engine bay so a very nice feature that ford motor company has incorporated in the new tow hooks as you can see we are looking at the king ranch model new for 2020 you no longer get the active contour seat so as you can see on the button right there on the seat it's just got a simple lumbar support where in the years past the king ranch automatically came with the active contour seats. Now I believe you have to spec it all the way out to the King Ranch Ultimate Package to get those active contour seats. And if you didn't know, that's the massaging seats where it massages your butt and your back. Now that we're already on the inside of the vehicle, I do want to show you the next thing is going to be the wireless charging pad. So it's real simple. You basically take your phone, slide it in here, and if the truck was running, it would be wirelessly charging my phone while I'm driving down the road. And that is a very, very nice feature on the new 2020 Super Duty. I do wish that this this opening was a little bit bigger because this is an iPhone 11 Pro Max and I've got some pretty large hands and it, it can get a little cumbersome to get it in and out of there, but it is a nice feature to have nonetheless. The next feature you probably didn't know about is going to be the Pro Trailer Backup Assist. It's a little knob that's located right here and what that does is it makes it easy to back up a trailer. Now I know that in the past, the, ah, a Pro Trailer Backup Assist, I don't need no, no truck to back up a trailer for me, but really it has a nice feature because if you simply want the trailer to go this way if you turn the knob this way the steering wheel will automatically do what it needs to do to back the trailer up in that direction and so it's a really nice feature if you have maybe a spouse who is trailer impaired and let's say you're backing up a boat to the boat dock or whatever you only have two people in there the wife needs to back up the trailer and you need uh, needs to back up the truck you need to be in the boat itself so once it launches you're not saying goodbye to your boat it's a great opportunity to have your spouse or someone else use the pro trailer backup assist now the nice thing is is that this super duty it does not have electronic power assisted steering like the f-150 which is what allows you to have that feature now they've got a standalone separate unit that will actually control the steering wheel for you so that way they can still maintain that more um, uh, robust hydraulic steering system so it's a pretty nice little feature pretty nice little update i'm glad they've got it on the super duty just in case the next feature you can already see it it's the sync 3 system has got a brand new skin to it so a lot of the technology is going to be the same where you still have the ability to control your phone you can control the audio and all that kind of stuff uh, but it is really really nice it looks a lot easier to use and a lot more simple to to navigate as you kind of go through this system um, once again not a huge update but it is an update nonetheless the Super Duty, depending on what trim level, has had heated and cooled seats for quite some time. As you can see, the perforated leather here allows for the, uh, the, the air to flow through the seats themselves. Now, what's interesting to me is that Ford Motor Company from the previous year models have changed the name from air-conditioned seats to ventilated seats. So I don't know what that means. Maybe Ford took the air conditioning component out and now it just blows normal air through your buttocks, but <laughs> you've got that nonetheless. So just kind to know that and test that out before you make your next purchase. The next feature I want to talk about or the next change that you didn't know about is going to be the USB. So in the previous version of the Super Duty, you only had the USB-C. Now, 
do for the 2020 model, you also get the USB-C. So now if you've got a, a smart device that needs power delivery, kind of like the iPhone, or you know, if you've got your, um, uh, your Galaxy Note 10 or whatever is out now, um, you've got that feature automatically. Now you can potentially just carry one cable around for everything. So if you watch MKBHD, I'm a big tech head too, if you didn't know that, but USB-C, all the things. The next feature I want to talk about is the airbag for this passenger front seat. A lot of people don't know that you can actually turn that off if you have a small child or a smaller person in the seat itself, you can cut it off. It's real simple. Go over here to the glove box, open it up, take the key out, and rotate it. Now you have got the passenger airbag is turned off. Now keep in mind that if you forget and leave that off and you have a full grown person in there, it's not going to automatically come on by itself. You have to come back in and turn it back on if you want that feature to remain. New for 2020, you have the drive modes as you can see with the button right here. Simply tap that button and you've got all different kind of drive modes from normal to tow haul, eco mode, slippery, deep snow and sand, and if you are getting the trimmer model, you also get a couple of other extra drive modes in addition to that. This is a significant improvement versus just the simple tow haul mode that was found in the last year's model. The next feature I want to talk about is the Ford Pass app. Now, new for the 2020 model, every single one of the Super Duties come with Ford Pass Connect standard. And what that does is it gives you the ability to lock, unlock, and even remote start the vehicle itself right from your smartphone from anywhere in the world. It's a really nice feature. In addition to that, you can even hit view details and you can see where that vehicle is parked or driving at any point in time. So that way, if little Johnny tells you he needs to borrow your truck to go to the library and you find out the library is actually a bar, no worries. You can know exactly where your vehicle is at any point in time. New for 2020, you have an available windshield wiper de-icer that is available on the Lariat models and up. And that's a really nice feature because when you do, it also gives you rain sensing windshield wipers and a heated steering wheel to go with that. So a very nice feature, especially if you live up north. Now for the 2020 model, you have an audible lane departure warning system. So as you can see, the button right here on the dashboard itself, that is the lane departure. That's not a new feature, but what is new is now it gives you the ability to audibly warn you when you're drifting outside of the lane. Now, because this thing has got a hydraulic power assisted steering, uh, hydraulic instead of electronic, it can't drive you back into the lane, but it nonetheless will at least warn you so that way hopefully it'll prevent you from actually getting in an accident. The new for 2020 model is the availability of the adaptive cruise control. Once again, this is a carryover feature, but the availability has now changed. So don't think, hey, I know how I wanted it ordered on a 19, I can just apply it to a 2020 model because it's going to be different. For instance, the Lariat and King Ranch is now optional on the adaptive cruise control. It's now standard on the Platinums and the Limiteds. So just know that before you order your next truck. New for 2020 model, I love this feature, especially once you get used to it. And that's auto high beams are now standard across the board on every trim level. So it works like this. You're driving at night, there's nobody else on the road. The truck can tell that automatically turns on your high beams. When you get someone either coming at you from the other direction or in front of you, the system will automatically put your low beams on so that way you don't blind that person. So it's really nice to have it automatically come on and come off. And I think it's a safety feature because more of the time that you drive at night, you've got more of the road that's lit up and you're not gonna be blinding that other person. This next thing that you probably didn't know about the new Super Duty is not exclusive for just the 2020 model. But what happens if you have this push button start the key, what happens if the battery in this thing dies? What do you do? Well, it's very simple. If you come in here into the center console, you'll notice that there's a little compartment where you pull this piece out and then you pull this out as well. And when you drop the key down in there, just like that, even if there's literally no battery in the key fob, it sends a signal through the key itself and can tell that you are the owner of this truck and it will start even if there is no battery inside this key fob. Most of our 2020 Super Duties are gonna come with the keypad on the outside where you can type in a number, one, two, three, four, five, and it unlocks the truck. What happens if that dealer that you bought the truck from never gave you the code or you just lost it or forgot it? How do you retrieve that code without actually having to pay a dealership to get that code for you? And I'm gonna show you a really cool way on how to do that. In fact, I'm gonna link it up specifically. It's gonna be linked up there in the cards. So make sure you watch that video. It goes in detail on how to get it, but I'm gonna kind of give you the premise. So basically what happens, you have to have both sets of keys. And by the way, when you do it, it's gonna actually display the code right here on the instrument cluster. So that's where it's gonna come up with the code. But basically there's a series that you follow. You put the first key 
in down into that same drop spot that we just talked about and then you not start the car but you turn the car on and then you take it out you do it with the other one and when you do it with both sets it'll actually give you the code right there on the screen once again if you want details on how to do that make sure to click on that video up in the cards this one is a bonus round and i've actually been putting about 50 miles on this particular truck so far and so far between halfway on the interstate and halfway you know 40 mile an hour back roads i'm actually looking at 18 miles per gallon on the first way home i actually was able to get 20 miles a gallon between the interstate and also that back road. So it's very interesting to see what this new 10-speed automatic transmission is gonna to do to the fuel economy. And there you have it, that is 25, give or take one or two, things about the new Super Duty that you probably did not know. If this video helped you at all, make sure to smash that thumbs up button, but more importantly than that, hit the subscribe button with the bell notification because I've got a video coming out that gives you my driving impressions on this particular truck. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you're feeling like being awesome, Awesome. I've already told you, smash that thumbs up button. If you didn't like the video, hit the thumbs down twice. Just make sure to hit it twice. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Follow me on Instagram if you hadn't done so. Mitchell S. Watts is my handle, and I'll talk to you guys soon.